Hey, we got cloud cover out there. Temperatures are very, very warm, and there is so much moisture in the air. The dew point today climbed all the way up into the upper 70s. It's still at 79. That is oppressive. Uh, dew points in Iowa don't get a whole lot higher than that. Occasionally, they'll hit uh, the 80s, but very, very seldom. So that is just very, very moist. 85 degrees. Feels like temperature of 98. Just wanted to show you what the storms look like that are in Nebraska right now. This shot coming in from west of Omaha, a shelf cloud moving through there. Let's look at Super Doppler 8. Most of the storms now to the north. This activity just north of Forest City. This is non severe at this time, but some heavy rain and lightning. Northwood back in through just east of Buffalo Center and moving to the east. It will only be cool for a brief moment tomorrow, 7 a.m., 78, then 80s into the 90s again with all that moisture in the air. So it's going to be a, a very, very humid day. First off, severe thunderstorm watch out to the west. That's until 10 o'clock. Then another severe thunderstorm watch north central northeast until 11 o'clock. Those storms moving in the northeastern Iowa. And then this cell has warnings for it west to northwest of Omaha. And because it's expected to hold together a severe thunderstorm watch along the Missouri River until 1 a.m. General movement, these storms moving to the northern Iowa, and this cell continuing to churn and headed into western Iowa. Future cast doing a good job, although it brings it across the Missouri River a little early. It swings it through the state by 2 a.m., clearing it out. I think most of Wednesday will be dry. We'll have another round of storms very late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. You can see them moving out of the Dakotas. They should weaken a bit as they move on through, but could be a threat with damaging winds. They move on out. And then watch this again Thursday evening, keeping an eye on another line of storms that could move on in. So first wave of rain could be heaviest with that cell moving out in Nebraska, and then another wave on Thursday. This would be through Thursday at 8 p.m. It looks like the heavier amounts will be west and northwest of the metro. Again, rain tracker, don't expect this exact amount in your rain gauge. It gives you a good idea of the range of rainfall expected in the locations that may see a little bit more. 73 thunderstorms possible tonight. Some could be strong with high winds. Tomorrow, the high 93, hot and humid. The storm chance would be very early. South winds 5 to 10. Then as we head into Thursday, temperatures stay in the 90s. A storm chance early and then again late. And then your pick days this week, Friday 86 sunshine, Saturday 86 sunshine. Very, very nice. Then 90s move back in. I think the better chances for storms would be Sunday night into next Tuesday.